Celeste, a platforming game about climbing a mountain. There are three main mechanics, a dash, a climb, and a jump. Combine them together and you can do some pretty crazy things. In this video, I'm not gonna have any story spoilers because you should just play this game, but minor gameplay spoilers ahead. Chapter nine consists of nine sub chapters. At the start of this video, I was at the end of Event Horizon. And now we start off with the infamous comb room. Why is it called that? I literally have no idea. So first, it starts off with a wave dash, and then you have to dash and wall jump. But you have to make sure that you jump late if you want to clear the spikes. On top of that, you have to do a few more jumps after that, and time the very last jump after making the first wall no! jump. After two hours of on and off attempts, I started to get way more consistent with the wave dash and wall jump, and I made it over more frequently. Then I finally conquered the comb room. Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, bro. Finally, dude. At the time, I had no idea how hard the future levels were going to be, so if all the other levels were even harder than this, then I would be in for a challenge. For the next screen, you have to do a bunch of these jumps, and then at the end, use the feather to get to the next section. Apparently, I sucked though, and I just kept dying on the feather section, even though that part wasn't even supposed to be that hard. I only know this because the music starts to get quieter and more muffled, so I don't think the developers intended for that part to be so hard. Dude, it was a straight shot! How do you miss that? But I eventually finished that screen, which is the end of Event Horizon. Except for this auto scroller screen, which I had a lot of trouble on, the next few screens weren't too bad, which was definitely a confidence booster since I spent multiple hours on the beginning sections. But this next screen, this next screen, bro. First, it starts off with this lava block thing. Can't be too high or too low or you'll go right into the spikes. And on top of that, you have to time it right so you don't hit the start things. Then you have to hit this button thing to open the door. But at the same time, you have to make sure you don't touch the walls because if you do, it'll activate the gooey stuff, which kills you if you go in the same spot again. Then on top of that, you have to make sure that you could serve your stamina so you can actually grab onto the lava block at the end. I died at the easiest part in the end, but luckily I got the hang of it and finished the screen right after. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god, dude, I, I'm, I'm like consistently doing that screen, bro. I'm crazy. Ooh, I'm better, I'm better, I'm better, I'm better. The next screen was a timing screen where you fall and dodge all the star things. And I have to admit, it looked really hard and I thought it would probably take me hours, but I got it in like five minutes. It's like only friends. Dude, I just did that, I just, I just did that screen. I just did that, I just the whole, hold that. This next screen kind of had me confused for a while because I thought you had to get the first button then stall in the air to get the dash crystal and then get the second button. I definitely didn't find out how to do it by looking it up, and I definitely haven't been doing that for multiple of these parts already. Anyways, after I knew how to do it, it wasn't too bad. Oh, I did it. Are you proud of me? The next screen was really annoying because again, I hate timing jumps, so instead of learning the timing or a consistent way to do it, I just brute forced it and I eventually finished the screen. No! 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 Oh my god, I finally did this room. I'm better, I'm better! This part was actually pretty fun because I really like the hyper dash, wave dash, super dash, zooming dash things or whatever it's called. The next screen was kind of similar, but a little bit more annoying since the timing was more precise. This one involved a bunch of wall jump boost things and I need to get better timing the last jump, but I eventually got it. But this Kevin block one. This Kevin block one. First, you have to line up the Kevin block and get the key and then break the blocks. Next, use the feather to catch up with Kevin and make him hit the block below you, which mind you, took me a while to even figure out that you needed to do that. Every time I would fail, I had to set up the Kevin block again and line it up just to die two seconds later because I sucked at using the feathers. It sucked for real. Oh my god! Oh my god! Speaking of feathers, the entire next screen is feathers, and timing. Luckily, I got the patterns down pretty quickly, and I was able to complete it a lot sooner than I would have thought. Please! Yes! 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 Finally! Oh my god! With that, I finished Determination. On to stubbornness. 
Remember those annoying rooms at the end of B-sides, or to unlock the B-sides? Well, the entire next section is entirely that, but more. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought because the level design was good enough to make the timing a lot easier, so thanks to the developers for that. For example, in this room, if you full jump on the spring, you can time it perfectly so you dodge the spikes. After stubbornness, we get reconciliation, the last real chapter in the game. So first, there's this new bird thing that basically just throws you around, and they reintroduced the old jellyfish things from what feels like a million sections ago. In my opinion, this section was actually pretty fun, aside from a few parts. Even though it was still challenging, it wasn't too hard and I would actually make progress, which was definitely a big confidence booster. I somehow found myself getting more consistent in all the mechanics, and somehow, some way, I was actually getting a little bit closer to the end. I really liked the screen because it had a lot of hyper dash and wave dash thingy parts, and I went really zooming fast. I think this game is pretty good at making a level that's challenging but fun, although sometimes, many times, it can be a little bit too much. Okay, this screen with the puffer fishes and stuff, I was doing a little bit of a silly. You have to dash into this power box thing, right? And then after you destroy it, you gotta get up into this platform. So for some reason, after playing this game for a while, my brain had just fully shut off, and I kept jumping into the puffer fish to regain my dash, even though I already had it. I literally had my dash right here. Why didn't I use it? Besides this screen, which I didn't like because you have to stay pretty close to the middle, most of the other screens were somewhat difficult but not too hard and actually pretty fun, so I don't have much to say. Then I finally finished Reconciliation. Remember how I said Reconciliation was the last real chapter in the game? Well it turns out Farewell is one very large, very long, last screen. I was one screen away from finally being in this game and unlocking the true ending. At the start, I never thought I would have come this far. I poured hours and hours into the beginning just to pass a few screens. Now I'm finally nearing the end. I just had one more screen to go. Then Serial Cat hits me up. Pleaky, I just got off Celeste and I'm on the last text point of farewell. Gonna try to get the Moonberry and beat it. This guy, this guy, he got all the strawberries, beat all the B-sides, got two golden strawberries, got most of the achievements, and half the time it took me just to get to this chapter. I didn't go for any achievements, I didn't go for any B-sides, and I didn't go for any strawberries. And Serial got up to the same point as I am, he did more than me, and got here in less time. I was in shock. Bro was definitely cracked at the game. The Moonberry. I've heard of it, but I have literally zero clue of what it was. I knew there were some special berries in the game, but I didn't know exactly what they were. So I looked it up. In Chapter 9, there are no strawberries, except for the secret Moonberry. At the end of Chapter 9, at the end of the last screen, instead of letting the bird catch you, you go left and head upward towards the Moonberry. The next day, we hop into a call and I propose something. We would race to see who beats the chapter first. I wanted to redeem myself. Even though this guy had done so much more than me in so little time, I had to beat him. I had to win. A quick run through of the last screen. Do fish parkour and then do a bunch of jellyfish jumps until the wind starts flowing up. Dodge a bunch of stuff, then throw your jellyfish to open a door, and then fall, hit this pufferfish, then use the feather to grab onto this wall. After, hit the springs and jump onto this platform. Jump off at the end and then do more jellyfish jumps until you make it to the power generator. All without dying. Pretty easy, right? Also, it doesn't count if you just beat Feral. You have to get the uh, Moonberry since I'm going for you it. You wanna race? Yeah. As me and Serial played side by side, he slowly got further and further into the level. I was still stuck on the spring room and kept dying at the feather part. I really hate feathers. The worst part about this screen was just how long it was. Normally these jumps aren't too hard, but if you combine them together and do them in a row without dying, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Serial was screen sharing so I could see how far he was getting. Then he says he got a new personal best into the level. He made it past the jellyfish, then hit the pufferfish, then the feather. Then he finally made it to the spring room. I tell him to hold space on the last spring since I didn't have enough distance to clear it when I did it with cereal. Cereal! He ends up entirely skipping the bottom spring. Oh, this part's really tight. There you got it. Make sure to hold jump on the last one. Oh, never mind. You just know how to do it. Oh my god, you're further than I got, bro. As he does it right here. Bro just did it for real. Bro just did it! That's not fair! Oh no! But he still had to collect the Moonberry. I still had a chance. Since you had to go a separate route and do more jumps even after you finish the screen, if you died, you had to restart all over again. Serial died and had to restart all over again. By now, I was in full focus, trying my absolute best to catch up. The only thought on my mind was, how can I beat this level? 
No! Bro! <gasps> What'd you die on? The very last part of it. The jellyfish transfer part. Oh yeah, that part's annoying. Bro, you just did like first try, what do you mean? I did do it first try, but it's still annoying, it's scary. No! Oh my god, I died on a part someone in like YouTube comments was talking about where they missed the last wave dash before a checkpoint. I was about, I was one wave dash away from getting a checkpoint and I'd miss it because it's on like a two tile block. And you're not officially ahead of me within like two minutes. I am. I'm not I salty. Am. I'm not salty. I, I am. I'm, I'm ahead of you. I'm not salty. Just not I'm officially not like from checkpoints. I'm not salty. I'm not salty. I'm not salty. No! So much Please! <laughs> I was so close. You can't do that to me, bro. I, I, okay, I, I miss Okay, watch me do this infinite, part first bro. try. Watch me do this infinite. part first try. No, I'm not watching it. Peaky, I'm about to get to the electrical no, no, box no, no, thing no, no, again. No, 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 no. There are definitely harder rooms. Like that one room we both got stuck on for like a year. The home room, yeah. Like literally, I'm not joking, a year. I was stuck on it for a year. I just gave up and came back and when I played it on PC and beat it finally. There's one part at the end that I'm stuck on. The jellyfish part or the feather part? The feather, the jellyfish part. It's because I can't get enough height to get the dash crystal. Cyril kept dying on the way to the Moonberry, but I still made very little progress. Okay, there is a checkpoint, so I'm officially further than here. But at this point, I gave up on beating Cyril. My only goal was to beat this screen. That's all I cared about. That's all I wanted. About an hour later, Cyril got to the Moonberry, but I still haven't even made it to the power box. I made it to the jellyfish section, but I had trouble hitting the pufferfish to get enough distance. Ironically, the same reason I kept dying, around two hours ago I told Cyril how to do the exact same thing I was having trouble with. Pretty silly, I know. Instead of not pressing anything like that, you want to press uh, away from them, so like, like that, you go much further. When Cyril officially won the race, collected the Moonberry, and finished the chapter, I decided to take a break. A few hours later, I got back on. I wasn't done yet. I just had to beat this. Even though Serial was clearly better than me, he put me in my place and beat me at my own game. I didn't care. I started to get more consistent at the ending jellyfish part. Ah! Then, I finally got to the power box. Now, I had to make the decision. Go right and complete the chapter, which I tried so hard to get to where I am now, or go left to get the moon buried and risk failing. I went left. Oh! Peaky. Did you wave dash to where you're not supposed to? Unfortunately, I died on the way to the Moonberry. But now that my goal was set on the Moonberry, I couldn't just complete the chapter. Then, I got to the power box again, but I died. Then again, and again. But I kept dying. Bro! <laughs> oh my god, I did it! What the heck? What the heck? Oh my god, oh my god. Please. Don't do this again. Oh! No! No! No, bro! No! Dude, why is this. Just when I thought I would get stuck on another part, this happened. Oh my god, I almost slipped. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> I finally made it far enough to get a checkpoint. I'm kinda silly though, and I didn't realize this platform was a checkpoint, so here are some of my goofy reactions. No! Oh, no! 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 Dude, it tapped me out too. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I had a heart attack. Dude, I had a heart attack. Don't ever do that to me again. It tapped me out too. Oh my god, bro! Don't ever do that to me again, bro. Please. Oh, oh, this is a checkpoint. Thank God, bro. I almost cried. 
Oh my god, it's a checkpoint. Thank god, bro. To get the Moonberry, you have to platform back from where you came from, since the electricity is removed when you hit the power box. Then, you jump up into the ceiling, and then there's one more room you have to complete before you collect the Moonberry. It took me a while to finally get to the Moonberry room, since I kept dying trying to grab the Dash Crystal. Eventually, I got it, even though it took me like 30 minutes. Then, we have the Moonberry room. For the first half, you throw your jellyfish against the wall and dash up while grabbing the jellyfish again. Then, after you reach the second half, you have to throw away your jellyfish twice. At the start, the timing to get the jellyfish and hit the wall was pretty difficult for me, and I was pretty inconsistent at it. But after a while, I started to get the hang of it more. Mostly, I was getting stuck on this jump. I would either go too far and hit the spikes on the top, or I would not go far enough. As I poured attempts into the last section, days passed, and I wasn't getting too far into the screen. The further I got into the level, the more I realized how long it actually was. Compared to previous sections, this screen wasn't as fun because the timing with the jellyfish was really annoying to do, but I kept going. I eventually got further and further. For this part, I was getting too impatient and mistiming it. Damn bro, it took so long. But I learned from my mistakes and timed it better. I also didn't change direction before throwing the jellyfish at this part, so I threw it at the wrong place. The hours passed by, and I kept trying. Then, I got further than I ever had before. I got past the wall parts, and with some close calls, I finally made it to the electric section. Even though I was discouraged, now wasn't the time to quit. I'm lying, I didn't really care that much. A few minutes later, I got even further. I made it past the door, but I died on the next part. With hours poured into this section, I finally felt like I was getting the hang of it. The end was just around the corner. Then, this happened. Oh my god, finally bro! Please, 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 please! No! 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 I felt it all slip through my fingers. I was so close to finishing this game and getting the true ending. I failed again and again, but none of them hurt as bad as this one. The barrier removed my jellyfish, and in a panic, I couldn't land on the platform before I fell. I spent so much time and effort in this game, and I still made mistakes like these. It always stings the most when you get so close to something you've been working to achieve just for it to disappear, and you have to start from the beginning. But now wasn't the time to give up. It's in times like these when you need to persevere. So I kept going. After having my biggest failure yet, I wanted to win. With the thought of doing something like that again, I needed to learn from my mistakes. Failure is just one step closer to victory. When I first started playing this game, I got a little bit more triggered every time I died or failed in a section. Almost 60 hours later, I got a lot more used to it. But sometimes, it still comes running back. <laughs> After I died, I kept on playing. I felt the win in my hands, but now it seems so far away. It could take me a few more minutes, a few more hours, or a few more days. But when I least expected it, all my hard work finally paid off. I got past the first wall section. Even though I almost hit the spikes, not once, but twice, I finished the bumper section. I nailed this back and forth part, and now comes the electric zone. The first half of the electric zone, I pretty much had the hang of it. However, the second half was still pretty difficult for me. But I pushed through and beat it. I made sure to line myself up in the right spot. I just couldn't make the same mistake twice. Oh my god. Oh my god! 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 Please! 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 Oh my god, bro! I'm dude, please! Oh my god, bro! Dude, dude! Someone once said to me, I don't like playing these types of games because they always make no, me so frustrated. No, 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 no! But in my mind, that's what makes the end so much better. 
The hardships you go through and the challenges we face makes overcoming them so much more worth it. Thanks for watching.